some breaking news are coming in on a story that we are tracking very closely here at Mirror Now. It's a Times Network exclusive. Our sources have confirmed to my colleague Karishma Singh that a secret meeting happened between a sports authority official and Bajrang Punia last night after the protest. And a Sai official had gone to pacify the wrestlers and inform them about the notice being issued to the WFI Wrestling Federation of India. Well, that is the big break news that we're getting you as an ex Times Network exclusive where sources have confirmed to my colleague Karishma Singh that a secret meeting took place between the Sports Authority of India official and Bajran Punia last night after the protest. Now, Sai official had gone to pacify the wrestlers and inform them about the notice that was being issued to the Wrestling Federation of India to come up with a reply within 72 hours uh, on the allegations that are levelled against the WFI by the uh, wrestlers. It's day two of the wrestlers agitation against the Wrestling Federation of India officials. Remember, some of the top and most decorated wrestlers have made serious allegations of a sexual assault and harassment against the Federation officials, including the Wrestling Federation of India's chief, Bridge Pushan. Now, they sat on a protest at Delhi's Jantar Mantar and said that they will not budge till the World Federation boss steps down. Sports Ministry has now stepped in and sought a response from the Federation within three days, failing which strict action will be taken. The Women's National Wrestling Coaching Camp, which was scheduled to start in Lucknow with 41 wrestlers and 13 coaches, now stands cancelled. And the wrestlers will continue their stir today at Jantar Mantar. Meanwhile, Delhi Commission for Women Chief Swati Malewal has issued a notice to Delhi Police and the Union Sports Ministry as well. Well, it's the Times Network's exclusive, as my colleague Karishma gave us that source-based information that the SAI official had reached out to the protesting wrestlers and informed them about the notice that was being issued. Let's take a listen to what Karishma has to say. Protest. But the big breaking at the moment is that the Sports Authority of India reaching out to the wrestlers, having a secret meeting. We are being told that the meeting happened somewhere in Chandni Chowk between uh, Sports Authority of India officials and uh, the wrestlers, wherein the, uh, uh, you know, they wanted to pacify the wrestlers. That, of course, did not happen. But they also informed the wrestlers that a notice has been issued to the Wrestling Federation of India to respond within 72 hours. And the Sports Authority of India official also informing the wrestlers that they they have taken a serious view of the allegations that have been put by them on the Wrestling Federation of India uh, president. Now, Amita, the wrestlers are very, very insistent on meeting only the Prime Minister. Well, that is a Times Network exclusive that the Sports Authority of India held a meeting late last evening once the re protesting wrestlers were wrapping up from their agitation at Jantar Mantar. They met and reached out to the protesting wrestlers to inform them that uh, there is going to be a notice that is going to be issued to the Wrestling Federation of India as a chief and also that the Wrestling Federation of India will have to come up with a reply within 72 hours to clarify their standpoint on the allegations levelled against WFI by the athletes. Well, this is the big break news that we're getting you at this point in time where the Sports Authority of India makes an outreach towards the protesting wrestlers and inform them, for that matter, that they will take action, that there will be an intervention, and that a notice will be issued seeking a clarification and reply within 72 hours to uh, get a standpoint as to what exactly went wrong, why was, uh, uh, you know, international level athletes compelled to sit on a dharna like this at Jantar Mantar. My colleague Ishika is uh, joining me live right now to get us more details. Ishika, this is the big breaking that we're getting at this point in time that the wrestlers were informed by the Sports Authority of India that there is going to be an intervention, that they are going to be issuing a notice or seeking a clarification from the Wrestling Federation of India as to the allegations that were levelled by these athletes against WFI. What do we know about it?
Yes, Samia, as you clearly said, that as my colleague also talked about that yesterday, the Sports Authority of India officials came here to meet Bajrang Punia uh, last evening and they said that and they in, in fact tried to pacify them and inform them about the notice that has been issued to WFI. But today, if we talk about, I'm present at Jantar Mantar, where the wrestlers will continue with their protest. Let me show you that the stage has been set. You can clearly see this is the very point where they staged their protest uh, yesterday and this is where they are going to continue with their protest. We talk about yesterday, yesterday 30 wrestlers and big names, be it uh, Bashrang Punya or in fact uh, Vinesh Fogat, all of them, you know, sat here uh, on Dharna and made some big allegations against the Wrestling Federation of India. Now, what they alleged was that they are uh, many of the female wrestlers were being uh, sexually harassed by the WFI uh, president and uh, the coaches who were close to him. And not just that, but other wrestlers also were being mentally tortured. And when they tried to bring this to the prime minister's attention, they were also given death threats. So these are some big and serious allegations that the wrestlers made yesterday. And in fact, uh, what they demanded was that they need time from the prime minister and the home minister to talk on this. They were not even, uh, you know, bulging from this point and they were not uh, not even uh, uh, wanting to meet the sports minister. They were only trying, wanting time from the prime minister and the home minister. So, uh, you know, after yesterday's meeting uh, with the uh, sports authority of India, we'll have to wait and watch if today the wrestlers here have a change of mind and will they meet the sports minister after, in fact, uh, you know, a notice being issued to the Wrestling Federation of India where the sports uh, ministry has has asked them to file a reply in 72 hours and if they if they fail to do so then strict action will be taken under the provisions of the national sport development code that was established in 2011 now if we talk about the wrestling federation of india's uh, bridge bhushan uh, president uh, bridge bhushan singh now the security has been deployed at his residence and yesterday if you remember in his rebuttal he had had actually challenged these wrestlers and said that if any of their allegations is proved, he will hang himself. So we'll have to wait and watch how this, uh, you know, this proceeds because uh, the wrestlers have been demanding his resignation for a uh, fair investigation. So we'll have to wait and watch how the sports ministry intervenes in this. Uh, if, you know, uh, they get to meet the prime minister and the home minister today itself, or will we wait for 72 hours for the reply? So we'll have to wait and watch, you know, what are these wrestlers after they arrive here anytime soon, what will be their stand for today? Over to you. Appreciate you joining us, Ashika, with all those details. And we'll keep coming back to you, as you mentioned, as and when the athletes arrive at Jantar Mantar to continue with their ongoing protest for the second day.